Detection of a coin, cavity and letter T made of rebar. In this video, we will detect a coin, the letter T, made of rebar, and the cavity we have formed, and provide their estimated shapes and depths on screen. Detection is conducted using the ground anomaly and cavity mode. First, we detect the targets. In the ground anomaly and cavity mode, the device does not provide any audio response. All targets and signals are only shown visually on screen. In this mode, ground effect is indicated by yellow, metals and positive hot rocks by red, and ground anomaly and cavity are indicated by gray or blue color, based on the strength of the signal. As you can see, three target signals have appeared on screen. To obtain the target shapes, swing the coil left to right slowly, and scan over the target, starting from a bit away from where the signal is starting, and until the coil is completely off the target signal. While scanning, pay attention to holding the search coil within the green area on the depth indicator, and parallel to the ground. Slightly overlap each sweep with no gaps in between. As you can see, the target signal shapes are now on screen. The images of the signals of the coin, cavity, and the letter T. When we rotate the image, we can see the shapes of all three target signals from different angles. Here, we can measure the length of the scanned area as well as the start and finish points of the scan. The ID of the letter T is 17, ferrous metal, the device does not provide target IDs for cavities, and the coin has 89 ID, non-ferrous metal. The device does not indicate depths for targets in the ground anomaly and cavity mode. 